Hey everyone and welcome to day 26 of my horror movie review marathon and I've got the Black Cat 1966 movie review. A man believes a black cat is possessed and thinks it's after him. What is he gonna do now? So as far as the story goes this movie was released in 1966 and Harold Hoffman directs this movie that feels at times like a Twilight Zone episode where Amanda appears to have many episodes after encountering a black cat uh, that was gifted to him, uh, that was a gift for him and his wife that turned him insane and we see how much his sanity is haunting him and sometimes it is frightening to watch, especially after he, spoiler alert, kills the cat. It is based off of the uh, Edgar Allan Poe poem. The events that unfold in the movie is almost directly parallel to what was said in the poem. It is actually hard to watch at times, especially coming from an animal lover and someone who has owned cats before, and I do feel like at times it reminds me of Pet Cemetery because of the cat supposedly coming back but maybe it's kind of like twisty in a way but it also adds to this you know weird corniness that you know these horror movies of the past have created. I did see some kind of enjoyment in what was transpiring at times, especially when you have this one guy's crazy reactions. Now as far as the casting goes, you've got Robert Frost who plays Lou and he was going absolutely insane in this movie. I swear I just wanted to like shake him and say, uh, no dude, you're going crazy. Uh, the cat is not the problem. You are. You see what he does to the cat and it is just absolutely horrifying to watch. And you see him go in this downward spiral and I, I couldn't believe how he was treating everybody and how he was treating himself. I mean, he was, you know, getting drunk at times and he could barely have this relationship with his wife and his life was in turmoil and his family uh, was almost non-existent. It was just crazy to see. Like, he was definitely the standout. Like, screw everybody else. Like, he was the one you wanted to pay attention to because he was the one that was being most affected by this cat. Uh, so the things that I liked about this movie was that while it's not a necessarily scary type of movie, but it did have things that I found to be really uh, disturbing to see. I was just really shocked and surprised by half of the things that I saw, and it did feel like certain movies that I had seen in the past, and I, I just kind of found this movie to be quite entertaining in a way. But unfortunately, the things that I didn't really like about this movie was that the editing felt choppy. And I knew this was already a short enough movie, uh, but certain scenes got cut way too soon. I was like, I wanted to see more. At times, the, the acting and the characters were just all over the top. And uh, I just... Uh, I, I felt like the ending could have been just a little bit better. So overall, I would say that I did still enjoy myself. I think you should give this a chance to watch it, whether or not you have seen it or even heard of the Edgar Allan Poe poem this movie is based off of. So I would recommend seeing this movie and I would give this three and a half hearts on the heart rate scale. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of The Black Cat 1966 and come back tomorrow for day 27 of my horror movie review marathon. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates, come back every week for a Trail Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter and I'll see you guys later.